it's a very cold and frosty morning this morning and today I'm turning my attention to my battery box this label's not lasted very well has it um, but as you can see my batteries are in here there's one of them and in fact let me take the whole thing off and there we have my two 88 amp hour claimed leisure batteries but they also have cranking amps mentioned on them so uh, should we call them hybrid and as you can see the terminals are getting quite corroded and uh, they're looking a bit of a mess they're not enjoying the winter this winter I'm really struggling with their voltage level there you go 12 and a half volts and uh, there's a bit of sun on those solar panels at the moment although they are still covered in a layer of frost as well and these batteries are getting down to 12.1 12 volts overnight i don't think they're holding much of a capacity now whether that's partly to do with these corroded terminals and perhaps this cheap jumper cable wire that i've used to interconnect them and to connect through to my solar charge controller but i've got another option to try as well now, a few months ago, I got hold of eight of these, and they're AGM batteries, uh, 12 volt, 17 amp hour, and these were taken from some UPSs that were being replaced on a maintenance schedule. These haven't failed, and hopefully, these are holding a good voltage. I did check a couple of them the other week, and found that they were holding over 13 volts. And, uh, yep, 13.04 on that particular one. So, I think I might string eight of these in parallel and see if they fare better in this winter weather than my other leisure batteries. But if I'm going to run eight of these in parallel, there's going to be a lot of interconnections and uh, I'm going to use this, it's a 16mm squared cable, it's pure copper, it's welding cable and uh, I think with a couple of terminals on the end that will work quite well and leaving a decent sized loop between these batteries will allow me to get my clamp meter in as well uh, and then I can test if all the batteries are running the load equally or if I've got one battery, bringing the whole pack down. So before I can test all these batteries, I'm gonna to have to prise them apart. They have some protection covers stuck down with dual-sided foam, which should be fairly easy to get off. These are obviously connected in series because UPSs generally use a 24 volt system and use the Anderson connector to interconnect to the UPS itself. So I should just be able to unscrew these. Don't expect they'll be particularly tight. There we go. So that little interconnection bus bar there will come in handy for something I'm sure and these small screws and nuts might even do the job when I interconnect them and that will be handy so I've bought these crimp connectors 16 millimeter squared and uh, 5 millimeter hole now I believe these are nickel plated copper so they should have pretty good uh, contact and um, I'm hoping now that with one of these on each side of that, these screws might be long enough. So let's plug that in there. And one there. One going that way. And yeah, I can reuse the existing nuts probably and screws. So now these batteries are electrically disconnected from each other I need to physically disconnect them because they are attached with foam tape in between I'm going to try this old hacksaw blade 
and uh, just get down in there and hopefully I can get these batteries apart before I rip my hand apart. Right, so I've worked my way around with the hacksaw blade and now hopefully the very middle is hard to get to without damaging my hand and there we go. Two batteries separated. Well, I need to do that uh, two more times with the other four batteries. As I go along, I'm checking the voltages. 13.02 and 13.04. Uh, They're almost all absolutely identical. So out of that little operation, I've got all those nuts and, and screws there and uh, a few Anderson connectors, which I'm sure will come in handy in the future. Now I've got my electronic DC load here that I created and uh, I'm going to set it up so if I go to IV I don't want these batteries to drop below 12 volts I've uh, gone a bit high 12 volts and I'm going to try 2 amps oh, these buttons still bounce a little bit more than I ever expected so I should be able to attach this straight across here and uh, hopefully I'll be able to test these for 10 minutes or so at 2 amps and as long as they don't drop too far I'm fairly confident they should be alright in my application so go 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 there we go okay so I'm fairly pleased with that it's holding up quite nicely so if I stop that and disconnect, um, it's got a little bit warm as the heat sink there, but nothing too bad. Now my battery bank shelf is below my bench here and it's exactly the same size and unfortunately we can't fit eight in a row between these uh, struts or uh, or even between these points here so I'm gonna to have to go with four by four so uh, there's four and it does fit on and uh, there's a bit of space around and hopefully four and then four next to it will work perfectly on the shelf below so with the camera zoomed out as far as I can get it um, I need to think about my interconnections between the different batteries here and uh, I want to make sure they're charged and discharged evenly so I'd like to take my main positive and main negative from different ends of the string. So if I go between these four batteries here with some short jumper cables, a longer jumper cable over to this edge here and then four short jumper cables between those points and do the same with the negative, four short, one long and uh, another well guess it's three isn't it short and then i can take my main positive and my main negative from either here or here and uh, it will hopefully distribute that charge evenly and of course i need to think about the length of those interconnects i'll worry about the longer ones later but the short ones which i'm going to need quite a few of um need to just work out how long yeah that feels good to me i'll just measure that and then cut up some wire there we go so i have had to buy some pretty hefty cable cutters for this job uh, because i wanted to do a decent job of it and this i guess is my masterpiece of cable and that cut very easily and very cleanly that's excellent so i just need to uh, make some more of these now so there are my 12 short interconnecting cables to go between the short sections here and I just need to work out the length of cable to go across the longer section and again that feels good for me so I will just chop that off around there and make two identical lengths and that leaves plenty of cable left I did buy five meters of this and that leaves plenty to go from my main positive up to my DC breaker 
and uh, the main negative to my negative bus bar.